Hello all, this is JC3 from Is This Real? Do you want to start your own podcast? Then look no further than Buzzsprout.com. We here at Green Hour Media use Buzzsprout, and we love the team at Buzzsprout. They are all about helping you succeed. Buzzsprout gets your show listed in every major podcast platform. Follow the link in our show notes to let Buzzsprout know that we sent you. It gets you a $20 paid Amazon gift card if you sign up with a paid plan and help support our show. Join us and over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout.com to get your message out to the world. Keith Vincent Carroll Studios in Patterson, New Jersey. Green Arrow Media proudly presents Is This Real? Welcome to Season 9, folks. Tonight, we're going to start with the Mandela Effect. What is it? Now your host, JC3. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another fantastic season of Is This Real? Is This Real? Tonight's episode is Dad Sen and our season nine opener. We are talking about, what is it, parapsychology, I believe the word is? Yes. Yes. Parapsychology. And we're talking, our first episode is about the Mandela Effect. Now, the Mandela Effect uh, is going to be brought to you by Dubby. See how I did? I changed it up there. W, go to W.GG, punch in the code is this real PC to get 10% off all your W products. And what is W? W is an energy drink. Okay. That's right. It comes in powdered form. Any flavors you recommend? Dragon. Dragon fruit. Yes. Yeah, the dragon age they is don't, fucking good. Yeah, they, it's they, fantastic. I, unfortunately, I looked. They don't have a flavor called gun. So, no, that's, damn it. <laughs> Already it disappointed. So, let, first off. We went through season eight. We did what we did in season eight. That's curses. It's behind us now. Welcome back, Joshua Roblox. Welcome back, Rody. Hey, yo, yo. Roblox has returned. What's going on, yes, everybody? I will introduce you first. Roblox is here. Behind me, I have the Pope himself. I'm a the Pope. Across from me, I have Big Joe. Dad, say hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our program. I have Mr. West. Mr. West is in the building. I'm here. Damn, you disappoint. And then I have Sito. Never Hola. Let him, never let him know your next move. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, gentlemen, we're talking about the, ne- uh, not the Nelson Mandela effect, the Mandela effect. That is the proper term for it. Yes. Now, it is obviously named after Nelson Mandela. Yes. Right? Yes. See? Yes. So, let's, uh, who has the, the origins that? of the, the, you have the origins, Dad? I'll go with it first. All okay. right. So, we'll talk about the origins, and then we'll talk about what. Sport. All right, a little back backstory on the Mandela effect. Basically, what it comes down to is it's false memory. Okay, when people, a group of people, will believe something for so long and then really find out, well, you know what? It's not that way. It's not the truth. Okay, and and in 2009, a girl, a girl by the name of Fiona Broom, uh, she created a website uh, as in in to to, to the uh, how do you spit say? it out, Junior. Jesus okay. Christ. And it was an observance of the phenomena. In other words, she's going to talk about all this. She actually thought Nelson Mandela died in nineteen in jail in 1998, when in fact he died in 2007. Everybody believed he died in in, in 1998. It was a gimme. Everybody knew it. But then somebody said, oopsie, he's out. He's out. He got out. Mandela passed away in 2013. 2013. I'm sorry. And then he decided to... Fucking Christ. Christ had nothing to do with it. He died a long time ago. Hit, hit him in the back of the head. Maybe we'll get his facts straight. It's Jesus Hold Christ. Hold on. There is a Mandela effect about Jesus. I'll talk about that in a minute. You just brought No, that. we won't. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm being serious. I mean, it's not a cruel joke or anything. Anti religious prick. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Well, you want an exa- I'll give you right. an example. I'm going to give you an I'll give you an example. Okay. In the Star Wars movie, everybody, yes. you talk to everybody, it's like, Luke, I am your father. How many people heard that? Yes. Yeah. It's always okay. misquoted that way. Okay. It is not, Luke, I am your father. Yeah. Right. It is no, I am your father. No. Yes. Search your feelings, Luke. Obi Wan never told you what happened. Okay. We're a huge Star Wars. Fan. But everybody, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't know you guys. Were but no, but that's a that's you're absolutely. No, right. no, that's, that's, a, that's a that's a good, good yeah, example. That's... Okay. 
So that's one of the things that people for years have been quoting that. that you know, I've never seen, seen a movie, so I can't say. But You've never seen Star Wars? No, I'm not a Star Wars guy. How We're not going to get into you that. You un-American motherfucker. No, I, I can't say I'm un-American. I like Star Trek. Oh, you're a Trekkie? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> you're what a Trekkie I... also? My father used to watch it a lot growing up, okay? Star Trek is the shit. And if there was no Star Trek, there'd be no Star Wars. And I'm not going to okay, get into it. Okay, I understand it. that. And okay, that, that's, so that's, 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 that's a thing. Oh, Beat me up, Scotty. Okay. Jean-Luc Picard. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Not the We're guy not. with the ears, the, that Spock no, guy. No, no, that's, 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 that's Patrick Spock. Stewart. Live long and jerk off. No? Okay, no. so. Let's live long and prosper, and then they scissor each other. <laughs> Keep going. Right off the rails all of a sudden. I already don't want to be on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I should have stayed on break. <laughs> okay, so I'll give you another. I'll give you another example. I'm not lo- quoting you, Josh. The location of New Zealand. Where in New Zealand in relation? To, where is New Zealand in relation to Australia? Anybody know? Off north, the south, west. Coast? If you look at a map, you will see that the south it's south of the west of the country. Coast, sorry. However, there is a community of people who claim to remember New Zealand being northeast instead of southeast. I mean, I just said it, so <laughs> I was like, it's north, <laughs> and I said it with my whole chest. <laughs> No, I got general I, direction. I, start, I said southwest because then I realized that east, west, and east are two different. Me, I meant southeast. Of course you did. Yeah. I have, I'm bad of course you did. You're directionally right. challenged. I am going going a little deeper. The only west. Like I said oh, earlier, going deeper. Okay. Like I said earlier, okay, it's false memories. Use some a more likely explanation for the Mandela effect involves false memories. Before we consider what is meant by false memories. Let's look at an example that are false. of the Mandela effect that we just did, as it will help us to understand how memory can be faulty and may lead to the phenomena that we are now describing. How many people in this room have actually believed something for years and years and years and found that it wasn't true? I, I remember like back in like 06 that like Will Smith and Jada Pickett got like a divorce and it was like I remember seeing like magazines all over the place in the supermarkets and shit and apparently that is something of the Mandela effect where it's like false memory because for some strange reason I do remember them like getting divorced way back in the day like that but it never happened. How many people in this room and now I'm not, all right, how many people in this room know who Alexander Hamilton is? Yes. Alexander Hamilton? Yeah. yeah it's, 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 I want the s- old president? No, he was never the never president. Never president. Hold on a minute. Exactly. Exactly. And I, who, who was Alexander? Wasn't he, wasn't he the third president? No, he was no, not. He was he not. Was not. Who was Alexander Hamilton? Most Americans learned in school that he was a founding father of the United States of America. Yeah, freaking. But that he, he was not. He worked for the Rothschild, bitch but ass that motherfucker. We, he was <laughs> not <laughs> a president. <laughs> no, he did really, not. You were in another episode, another season. <laughs> no, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> My However, went after his whole lineage. He was, like, <laughs> he was the only founding father who was an immigrant of a different country, who worked to be the treasurer. Wasn't he from the, no, Barbados? Yeah, he worked no. for the Rothschild. No, yo. he did not work for the Rothschild. Yeah, he did, yo. Yeah. I, no, I mean he started the banking system in America. Exactly. Exactly. And the exactly. Rothschilds abused him. Time <laughs> out. Time out. Okay, we're done. We're gonna... He didn't start the banking system. What he did was, he, he what he did, he, he wanted a collected, bank. Our, he collected our finances and used all the states into one central area right. instead of each each state. So he started he started the central banking system. He worked right. for okay. the Rothschilds, yo. Oh. Like I'm I, I'm okay. not bullshitting with okay. what I'm talking about. He okay. worked for the Rothschilds. Where did this I mean, come from? That's, that led to the War of 1812 with the fucking banking taking over this country. That's it. There what? We go. What? <laughs> It wasn't the War of 1812 with Native Americans? They didn't have any banks. That's when England attacked. <laughs> okay. I mean, they and traded corn. Well, look, I have... Shit, but they didn't have, uh, like, look, a bank of corn. I have uh, I have a couple examples over here also. Please, if, you wanna, if you want to start talking about examples, uh, but let's uh, go around the room and, like, do you have anything that you remember that you thought was one way that uh, it, it really wasn't? Uh, now, no, I, I really don't because I, I'm a deep thinker. I don't really, you know... I mean, it, it could actually be... <laughs> what the fuck is that look for, Clark Kent? <laughs> I'm a deep thinker. Don't break your own jerk yourself off. Seriously, there, Jesus Christ, my God. Because no, I deal in fact, that's why. Anyway, oh, this is going to be pick on dad night, all right? Okay, got Chrome <laughs> Dome finally back in the building, and now you're all going to go off? Well, jerk me off, all is, okay? No, thank you. All you right. first. No. <laughs> my okay, God. So, so... So, Mr. Deep Thinker, you had nothing that you thought was... The closest thing that I can see uh, to the Mandela effect that I know for me would be misheard lyrics. 
and for singing a song one way for 30 years and reading the lyrics go oh fuck. so the the, oh, the yeah, whole michael so. jackson thing huh? you know the the mama say every, mama, mama say mama say i'm not hey, those aren't real words that's not that's not the, yeah, lyrics. Those aren't it's, the lyrics it's i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna um, i'm not gonna stop or some shit like that that's what the lyrics are right that's or, uh, for me anyway. call it? they did that for um the pina colada song like for a long time what? People heard hold the on, hold on. The I think. Nah. Hold on, hold on. I think this is a fried cheese moment. What's what's going on, guys? What, uh, is, wait, wait, wait. You really try? To, mama say, mama say, mama. Yo, that's not the lyrics. Not that's not the lyrics. That's not, it. No. that's not the lyrics. No. It's like I thought I told you <laughs> before. I'm gonna say it again. Or something I'm not gonna like stop. That. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna nah, stop. Nah, nah. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not gonna say I say. I, I'm gonna refuse to believe that. What's that the song? But that's Google the fucking lyrics, dude. Dude, what is the name of that song? That's on. Oh, it's want to be starting something. Yeah, you want to yeah, be starting something. Start something. I'm, I'm having, I'm, ha- yeah, this is a brain fart. There ain't no way. Well, you, you guys look because when I say a a, a a fried cheese moment, that comes from me and Anthony were talking about fried mozzarella, uh, mozzarella sticks, and Anthony goes, "That's just fried cheese," and it blew <laughs> Teresa's mind. She goes, "That is the simplest way to say mozzarella sticks." I'm like, "Well, it, it's it, that's what the fuck it is. It's fried cheese." And it blew her fucking mind. She was dumbfounded for like an hour. I can see that. They're dumbfounded right now. <laughs> they really thought that Michael Jackson went up to the mic and just, Mama say, Mama stop it, Mama It sounds like something he might do. No. But no, it, 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 he would not do well, that. How, how would you sit there and I'm a genius right now, and that's exactly what it's telling me. Mama say, 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 Mama well, I, I got I, I got here, Mama, Mama say, Mama sa, Mama makusa. That's what I got here. Are you guys having a Mandela effect? Yeah. What the fuck? No. Yes. Maybe yes. you're wrong. We got three different fucking lyric companies here now that have told Bam, us. Bam. Alternate universe. Yep. Where where were you? Kay. Where were you? Where where? What was that? What was that? I'ma say. I'ma say. I'ma wag. What? I'ma say now. I'm not gonna stop or some shit like that. What the fuck? Okay, uh, he okay. does pre he does post amble stuff like it'll be mama say mama sa mama makusa help me sing it babe and then he does it again and he goes he 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 like he does everything yeah <laughs> yeah sing it to the world <laughs> that's all loud. I want Woo-hoo! we need a whole podcast of dad just reading Michael Jackson lyrics he 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 I here's here's what I here's what I heard it was called I'm gonna say it, uh, um I'm gonna say it one more time I'm not gonna stop that's right yes. I'm gonna say it one more time I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna say it one more time I'm not gonna stop yes that's what I heard, that's what I read on the internet. That's what it's actually. That's I don't actually see says. any of that in this. How do you thing. spell Manakusa? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I dare you guys. Find it. Hold on. On Genius, on Genius, it says that Mama say Mama sa Mamakusa translates to "You're a vegetable. You're a vegetable." I don't know. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, "You want me start something? You fucking vegetable." Yo, hold on. Right, yo, hold was up, Michael hold Jackson up, anti-disabled? No, 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 no. Hold up. We're not going to deny the fact that Michael Jackson was one of the most gangster motherfuckers of all time, bro. He was out here just slinging dick like that. How are you just slinging dick? He had two children and was afraid of vagina. What do you mean slinging dick? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. No. He, he fucked Elvis's daughter. Yeah, yeah be a brave motherfucker. Really, Gene, that's Elvis's not my daughter. son. Like, come on, man. Like, yo, that, that man was already having oh my issues. God. Anywho, Michael Jackson was gangster. Anywho, Can let's we get back. Let's to get topic? Ba- yeah, let's, let's get back to the topic here, because like, <laughs> so, so the jury's right, still, King. the jury's out on on Michael Mama Jackson. Say Mama Saba Makusa. Boy, am I sorry I brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dad, you talked about the Luke, I am your father thing. Yes. Hold on, what about Sita? You got anything that you thought? Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, yeah, Sita. The The Monopoly Man. The Monopoly Man is one. You always thought he had a monocle? Yes. I thought he had a... Wait, the the eyepiece, right? No, he doesn't have one. He does not have a monocle. Where that stemmed from was the Ace Ace Ventura movie when... No, no, I did research on this because he tried to use the argument against me. We're not going to do this. Okay, Okay. relax. Calm down. Nobody's twisting your nipple. Calm down. Have some... (laughs) Calm down. Product placement. I have a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> that is product placement. You're not you when you're hungry. Not stop it. <laughs> stop. No, we're going to get sued. We are not sponsored. <laughs> Jesus. I'm kind of hungry. So, 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 so if you looked into it, what's, give me, get, educate me, bro. What's going on okay. with that? So it goes based off of statistics and actual. Um, hey, look, there's one with the monocle on it. So I actually did a research in, um, what's it called? About actual viewership of Ace Ventura of my Please age. put your yeah. mouth on the mic. 
No. Because that's why we, that's why you, yeah bro. that's why you lo- we lose your your audios because you're just sitting there going like this. Yeah, don't worry about seeing me. Just He's talk slipping. to the mic. You know what I'm saying? He's like, what the hell am I doing? Why is he on you tonight? No, no. So, so viewership amongst your age of, of my Ace Ventura age. Nature Calls. When nature so millennials. Because uh, you fall in the millennial category, right? I don't know. Yeah, Not I, you. Technically, one of the definitions, anybody who's a mill- uh, millennial is under the age of 41. Yeah, that is. Holy but like, it also goes to like 98, so... I'm on the very edge of one. Yeah. I think I'm very edge millennial. Yeah, you're the, like, the edge between millennial and alpha, I think. What? Generation alpha. I don't even. Okay. So, when it comes to Ace Ventura, the issue is, when it comes to my generation and like my, people my age and below, I think the viewership overall of any Ace Ventura movie, period, whether it be online, now this is documented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in anything that they can document, so anything pirated is a different story or DVDs. Sure. Which you should not do, by the way. But um, I think it was about like 40%, 30 to 40%. <clears throat> so in turn, let's just say I was born in 2002. Wow. And I know one argument you brought up in the TikTok was uh, Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah. And of course, Jim Carrey's a big actor. But let's use my age, two th- born 2002, September 10th. From there forward, Jim Carrey did nine movies, one being a cameo, five documentaries, five to six shows with two of them being specific episodes. Was Bruce Almighty out at that time? No, right? I don't know. No, uh, no, uh, no. Now take consideration, like- once a child starts recognizing actors, they're not going to be so... Let's add like maybe 10, 8 to 10 years. Sure. So 2002, I would be 8 or 10. And then it cuts down some of those movies that came out in between then. So after that, let's take out rated R movies that a parent would not want a 10-year-old to see. It brings it down to another four movies. Sure. Two of them being Sonic. Mm -hmm. So the actual viewership of Jim Carrey and people saying, I want to go back, especially around my generation, goes down dramatically when actually looking at statistics. I have a question. In those statistics, do they... Do they... Are they just talking about going to the movies and seeing the movie? Or are they... Uh, They're talking about viewership of anything, Jimmy. Yeah, because what I'm thinking of, because if I'm going to be be honest with that, if I'm going to talk about viewership or anything like that, because I didn't go to the movies and see any of the movies. What I saw was Anthony and Amanda watching it, and I'm there watching it with them. That's another thing. I also brought up percentages of possibilities of... Um, families with older siblings. older siblings above my age but i basically did it so that is my age as the oldest right okay and then younger yeah okay. i got you i get you so like from your age okay. group if you are the oldest in your family the likelihood of you seeing that movie is diminished because you didn't grow up watching jim carrey movies exactly right because jim carrey's saying. movies like you know mostly yeah, 90s. Yeah, it's yeah. a yeah, mostly, it was mostly 90s a 90 thing, thing. Yeah. no it's different for you guys you sure. guys were around the age. You definitely saw the movies. So, when you when you st- take out any statistics, and I think Joshua can sit there and talking statistics with us means nothing. We are completely different as far as the Kaolas are completely different than everybody that's, else. That's another thing. It's we like are trying in- to smell the color green. It doesn't work with us. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, do you say as yes or nay to that? As a best friend of your family for at least, what, 18 years now? Poor going on 20. Sure, <laughs> going on 20. Um, you guys aren't capable of jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> I could ask you 2 plus 2, you guys would still say 15. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be honest. No, but I understand what he's saying. Like, the likelihood of someone of his generation to see that movie is a lot less than someone of our generation because we grew up with that movie. And the thing with the whole Monopoly Man thing is that it's not just, for example, my age, like I'm 20. Like, there are middle schoolers that believe the same exact thing. Sure. Yeah. So it so obviously where come from, changes. Then? Like, where does it come from? Well, if you actually want to point out, it's because of classism. The stereotypical rich stereotypical man would have rich a man, monocle. Rich man that may have been seen, especially between older and newer cartoons. Yeah. Especially, you know, 
like they're usually seen with the suit, yep. maybe some kind of vest, a monocle on. Mr. And they all talk on, like, like Mr. This. Peanut has a monocle. Mr. Peanut is the same exact way. Yeah. And Mr. Peanut can like if someone were to take him like and class him as like upper, lower, middle, whatever it may be, they may say upper just because of classism and biases. Like we don't even know his first name. It's always been Mr. Peanut. So and that's why can, I buy he those commands peanuts. respect right from the get go. Because if there's a, a classy guy on the thing, they have to be really good. Yeah. So yeah. if anything is going to come from the Monopoly Man, it's more classism and what we might have seen in stories and cartoons, right. or whatever, of depictions of what the rich will look like. So we think of the stereotype and apply it to all its Mr. Moneybags from Monopoly. He's exactly. gonna this is have just a monocle. the same way. Like, let's look at. Power I got Puffer. you. Well, got you. let's just put it like this: If you turn Mr. Peanut into a human, I would say he would yeah. look like Mr. Monopoly. But right, also, but Monopoly doesn't. Mr. Monopoly doesn't have one. No, I understand that. Yeah. I, yeah, he doesn't have a What peanut. about everyone in the Powerpuff Girls? Like, sure. Remember the mayor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same exact way. Top hat, the vest, yep. suit, monocle. So, so I guess what I'm saying, so when I made the argument with you, and you were, I agree with you what you're saying, I guess what I was, I, I missed the broader picture because that scene from Ace Ventura is exactly that. It's, it's the man who's richer, who's got the thing, and it helps that he calls him Mr. Monopoly. And yeah. like, you must be the it Monopoly guy. It just correlates guy. to that. Yeah. that exactly. Help for your it's, a, section well, yeah, of, it's a good example of right. the overall idea. So we're going to take a short little break. Shut up, Anthony. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to uh, continue discussing our examples, our own examples of the Mandela effect. And uh, the redundancy. we will be right back. Hey everybody, I'm JC3. And I'm Mr. West. And, and this, this episode, episode is brought, brought to you by Dubby. Dubby. Made by professionals in the USA, Dubby was formulated to give you focus and energy with no jitters or crash. No jitters. Their formula contains vitamins, amino acids, including the patented Neurofactor. Neurofactor. You know what Dubby doesn't give you? What is that? No calories. No calories. No sugars. No sugars. No fillers. No fillers. And no artificial flavors. <laughs> when the raw ingredients arrive to the FDA registered and inspected facility that strictly adheres to GMP guidelines. They undergo a quarantine while a small sample of each ingredient is taken to test for any impurities while also being tested to ensure that the ingredients are actually what they are supposed to be and have the proper dosage. And once the ingredients pass all the tests, then they're clear to get mixed into the formula. So head on over to w.gg and use our offer code is this real pc for 10% off your first order. That's D U B B Y dot G G and use the code Is This Real PC for 10% off. They have great flavors such as Galaxy Grenade, Dub Sludge, Pass and Joy Tea, Monkey Madness, and Dragonade. My personal favorite is Dragonade. Dragonade's right here. I got Dragonade right here. Delicious. Drink Dubby and be better. These products are not intended to diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. Hello, this is JC3 speaking. If you want to know more about Is This Real Podcast and our parent company, Green Hour Media, then visit greenhourmedia.org. You can find and follow all of our social media pages through our website. If you love our content, then you can support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and our Patreon page. Remember, that is greenhourmedia.org. Welcome back. Uh, as we continue our episode about the Mandela Effect, uh, this episode again is brought to you by Dubby. Go drink Dubby. Dubby, Dubby, Dubby. Go to w.gg. Punch in the co- punch in the code. Is it real PC? Punch shit. And you can get ten percent off Except your for women. Don't punch Dubby women. products. What? <laughs> <laughs> can you give me the energy to beat up a pre-K school? No! no! This is our what the fuck, sir? Dubby, I swear to God, we're not using your drink to do any of those things. We are no not domestic beating violence. up children. <laughs> or women. <laughs> Please. We're not beating up anyone. Let's just say that. I yeah, we don't up. We don't beat up people. We're, but we're, I, drink the, I did drink Dubby. I did yeah, spar yeah, with a woman good today. Gaming set. Okay. He sparred in his Muay Thai class, which is a good thing. There's, there's a supervisor she there. She actually kicked my ass. Good. She swept me a few times. Okay, so we're going to get back to this. Joshua... Do you have any examples in your life of you uh, of the Mandela effect coming out to, you know, I mean, happening to you? Not happening to you, but to- not specifically. I mean, there's the same general ones like that know, everybody knows. Yeah, everybody knows the Darth Vader line, shit like that. The thing with the Monopoly Man. I think there was one with Pringles too, but I think it's because they actually intentionally changed. They did, yes. Yeah. So they so- did. Wait, wait. Pringles had a had a 
had a... I was about to bring this over here, but it's not Pringles. So it's actually Lay Stacks. Dick. Which is actually better. To me, Lay Stacks is... Whatever. One... Damn it, me. we're never going to have Pringles as a sponsor now. <laughs> you shut your mouth. I'll defend Pringles in my life. Anywho, so... Anyway, so for me... That pizza flavor is what's fire. the one that, 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 that fucks you up the most, though? See, that's the thing. I don't know. I believe all the other ones because I think there was one... <laughs> So for me, it's just, it's more the memory bias. It's just like, I remember something growing up and then learn it later. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, okay. All right. Well, You're more chill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I it's guess like, I was wrong. Yeah. Cause it's like, I studied psychology as best I could when I did. And it's like, there's things you learn that you do have memory bias. It doesn't matter what happens. All at right. all it's like okay i remember this and then someone goes around like no it happened this way I'm like i swear to hell it remembered this way and then someone got fucking knocked out it's, it's like, what yeah it's why eyewitnesses are not like all that credible in court like exactly they, i was they, gonna bring that up yeah i, I actually later on when we okay good discuss, I, when we discuss false memories i actually have all that written down. we'll, pit, we'll okay. pitch that back to you yeah, yeah well I'll, so you could do the layup uh aunt uh, if you take the one I'm thinking of, I'm gonna hit you. No, I can't. How the fuck am I gonna know this one you're thinking of? We're doing the telepathic episode in a few episodes from now. Not now. Just uh, go. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of them. Like, there's so many of them out there now. And like, okay, you know what? The one I will say the legit fucked me up, and I think it's the Bernstein Bears. Motherfucker. It's not. It's the Berenstain Bears. Yes, it's the Berenstain Bears. And I think that's. I Do mean, you know what the Bernstein Bears is? I know what it is. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what the Bernstein it's the Bears Bernstein, is? Because I struggled to say. Are those the gummy bears? No. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 It was a book. Are you about Hasbro? It was a child's book, dude. Come yeah, they were. Excuse they were me a... for not being a child. <laughs> See, I would have went, excuse me for not reading, but I get you. I, I, I get that. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's like, I read, like, our grandmother bought us so many of those fucking Berenstain books. Yeah, we had like 30 of them. Yeah, we had almost, yeah, like a library of them. And growing up, as she even read them to me, as Bernstein Bears, and I think it's really based off the idea that when you, you look you know at what that. I, you know what I just realized? It's a long, complicated, it's a long, like, wordy last uh, name. So it's like it's it's like Bernstein flows off the tongue easier. It sounds better than Berenstain. Well, uh, and I just think it's easier just to go, oh, it's the Bernstein Bears, you know, I, I and they just caught on because you read it so fast and it's in that really curvy font. Yeah, that's the thing. It's in cursive. Yeah, my parents yeah. didn't read to and me, and you could mistake it. <laughs> exactly. The, uh, yeah. My mother didn't know English at the time, and my father wasn't around where he was working too much. So. All right. Well, I mean, there's that. Okay, the therapy sessions later. Um, <laughs> that's that's what I realized that I just realized right now. I'm just like, wow. Okay. Uh, that's why I didn't get read. But that's what, why I had to read my own. What books. I was thinking because to me, if you look at again, it's B E R E N. N S T E I N, so that would to me in my eyes there's there's there's, like there's always a correlation. It's either Bernstein, which would be S T E I N, or Berenstain, right? Which would be S T A. It wouldn't it be Berenstein? That's the other thing. Like, they don't miss. They don't pronounce it that way either. Then it's not like it, like Bernstein would be B E R S, and then Teen. They don't do that. Like, like that Bernstein, sounds like Bernstein. Better. Yeah, Bernstein. Right. Berenstein. Like, but it's pronounced Berenstain Bears, so it's Berenstain. Like Berenstein. the Red Baron? Like Baron? Baron. It's spelled differently, but yeah, it sounds... So, so phonetically, phonetically, phonetically sounds it sounds. Yeah. All right, that's just... The Hold on, wait a minute. Phonetically, the sounds. I just realized that. Like, that wasn't even... Anything. What? Shazam. I just remembered. That, that, one's uh, that was... Up? That was... That... That's the one that blew my mind. It's the, But I'll be honest, they Shaz literally like, put it out last year that there was a movie called Shazam. No, there was not. Wait, like, are we talking like the the comic books? No, no, no. There no, was like, a movie. Just, like, there was apparently a movie in the '90s with uh, um, what the hell's Sinbad? It? Sinbad. You know the comedian Sinbad? Sinbad. Yeah. Apparently, he dressed up as a uh, 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 a genie that, and the movie was called Shazam. I remember seeing this fucking movie. No, you didn't. No. Yes, I did. No, you don't. No, no, no you don't. Because there was one with Shaquille O'Neal where he played. Correct. A genie. And for some fucking reason or another, everybody's cognition just got rewritten. And for some okay. reason, when we I'll go tell you on, why. Sinbad. Hold on. We will, I, was, when we go on break and hopefully. Oh, those bears. I know everyone those bears. look it up. There is a interview that, that Sinbad yeah, he did. did that, hold on a second. And he said that he did play in Shazam. Yes. It was a skit for collegehumor.com. 
He was playing into it. He was not. It yeah. was not a serious thing. It he was a did, comedy skit. Did, yeah, he did an actual comedy special where he well, says then there's fuck like, Sinbad for making people think that way. Then all right, and, and, and he's special. not a good actor he, or comedian anyway. And he admitted it on stage. Says I don't know where the fuck this came fun. from. I've never done that before, but and I'm gonna roll they with it. They filmed a few scenes. And doctored it up to look like it was from a VHS from 1994 or whatever. Yeah. To be like, oh, yeah, here's the proof. It doesn't exist. Somebody, and I, this is why I love the internet. Somebody was like, look, I found a real copy of it. And he was holding it up. And it's like he made, like, this is a VHS. It's the front and the back. There's pictures and shit. But if you, I paused it. I zoomed in. Because at the back of the VHS, it has all the credits, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it said, like, starring Macaulay Culkin. Meryl Streep. <laughs> like, it listed every A-list actor of the 90s except for fucking Sinbad. Directed by, it was like directed by Martin Scorsese. I was like, dude, next time you want to doctor something, I applaud you for going the mile of like making a fake VHS cover. But make the credits like... Credible. Don't, don't, <laughs> give, don't give me the option make of the like, credits credible pause and be like, oh, there it is. This is all fucking fake. And not to mention, Sinbad in the 90s dressed like a fucking genie on stage. You ever see the way it was bright colors? It was a lot of baggy pants. The was, motherfucker dressed like a genie. I was I was young. All right, that's I fine. wasn't even born. Okay, you go well, back well, and well, watch Sinbad performing comedy in the 90s, he's yeah. dressed in baggy clothes well, like a genie would be like dressed this. as. The, the Shazam thing and the... the Curious, George Cousin. Have a tale? Uh, Shazam. Kazam was the Shaq version. And, and that... Well, no, what I'm saying is the, the Shazam yeah, wait, Okay. It never, had the, it never had that basket. And I could have sworn it had that basket. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. The Shazam one and the um, the Berenstain Bears He's ones original. were the ones that fucked He's me up the most. Ones. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Guys. What's Whoa. up, guys? Hold on, Dad. Fuck us. Dad? Going back to the religious one I mentioned before. Dad. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I understand that. Going back to the religious one I mentioned from before. And he's right. doing the same thing. There There's is no control in this podcast. Stop. There, um, you've heard like the, the, in the Bible, it says the lion shall lie down with the lamb. Yes. It's not the lion. It's the wolf shall lie down with the lamb. Don't blame me. I didn't do it. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you just like, which one have you heard or remember hearing? Or you're just like, eh, it sounds familiar. <laughs> Uh, to be honest with you, the, the first one you said. The lion yeah. seems right, right? But it's not. It's the wolf well, shall lie down at the lamp. Right, okay. That one I, fucked me up for a hold minute. On, I hold on. Wait, can, can, I, can I get mine? Jesus fucking Christ. I've only been trying to say this for five fucking minutes. Are you going to talk about C-3PO Silver Lake? That no, no, me. not that one. But even though that, that uh, the last, the two you said is the, the ones that fucked me up the most. But there are other examples that, you know. Go on, fuck uh, me up. So... We, we talked about the Luke, I am their father thing, which is, you know, to me as a Star Wars fan, that didn't fuck me up because I knew what the line was. Sure. Uh, Henry the Eighth eating a turkey leg. Does anybody remember of a picture of Henry the Eighth eating a I've turkey leg? I've never seen it. If what? Was, so, so uh, people Henry had a memory VIII. of painting of uh, Henry the Eighth eating a turkey leg, though no such painting has ever existed. There have been, however, many similar cartoons created because of it. Like Henry the Eighth, we all like get that oh, image of the big Henry fat VIII, fucking oh, king. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. and there's a very famous which which, which Henry. The, who was that? Who was he, that? He was he one was of the, the eighth. <laughs> he was the eighth king of what? France? <coughs> no, England? it's like the Pope. England. It's Henry the Eighth. They choose a name. No, he was King Henry the Eighth of England. He had a bunch of wives. He was killing them after like you didn't give me a son. Oh, off this is head. the motherfucker that wanted to, that initiated divorce or something like that. Correct. Because he started like killing his wives. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So is that a... how divorce started? <laughs> yeah, no, that ass. I don't want you this time. Off with your head. Yeah, no, that's how it was. That's but how it was. Henry, be... let's not kill them. You could just not marry them, Henry. Oh, that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> Bring my turkey leg. Yeah. No, so there's a very famous photograph or photo, a very famous painting of King Henry standing there, and in his hand there are there's an object, and if you kind of look at it quick enough, it kind of looks like a turkey leg. He's a big fat fuck, so that makes sense. It's a pair of gloves, and that's a common theme through paintings of of uh, that time period. If you look at our founding, like portraits of our founding fathers, there's ones of Hamilton holding gloves, or or um, these motherfuckers were masons. Yeah, and I understand it, but the gloves represented something. I, re- I forget what it meant, but like, what does it have to, to do with turkey legs? Gloves in a painting has a representation that's not exactly new. Royal. So 
It's not a turkey leg. It's a pair of yeah. brown gloves he's right. holding. So here, but they look like a turkey leg. Here's the next one. Pay attention. Does everybody remember the line, mirror, mirror on the wall? And where did it come from? Who's, That's the, Snow White. Who's the fairest of them all? That's Snow White. Snow White. It is not mirror, mirror on the wall. Pardon? Excuse me? It is magic, magic mirror, mirror on the wall. wall. Yes. Who is the fairest of magic them all? Magic mirror on the wall. I don't like it. So it's mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Mirror, mirror on the wall. All right. So the it, next it just, one. It just flows better. It like does mirror, flow mirror better. on Every, the wall. Okay, okay. So does everyone know the, the, the hot dog company or the... The glizzy? Yeah. The Oscar Meyer. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I, maybe I think so. Yes. Okay. So how do you spell it? How do you spell his name? Oscar. Well, oh. everyone says it's M E uh, M E Y E R. What? But the correct spelling is M A Y E R. All you gotta do is sing the fucking song. Yeah, that's what. My they Maloney sing. has the first name. It's yeah, O-C-A-R. C-A-R. Maloney has the second name. M-A-Y-E-R. A lot of people change the name E-Y-E-R. What, you know, what were we talking about before? The world is fucking full of stupid assholes. You know what I always fucked up? I always fucked up the, the tune of that. So instead of singing like My Baloney has a fr- like that tune, I would always sing it at, with the Mickey Mouse clubhouse like O-S-C-A-R-M-O-U-S-C. See, uh, anyway. Well, the next one is... Idiot. Disney Again, don't come after us. This, you know what the funny thing is, is most if you look at all Ready. these things, besides the Henry the Eighth one, there's a lot of just '90s references. Yeah. For some reason, we all forget what the fuck happened in the '90s. Nothing uh, happened I, in the I'll '80s. Give you one, go back. I'll, go back to the '50s. All right. So the next one I have is the Pikachu. Pikachu doesn't have a black spot on his tail. It's all yellow. No. No, no it's not all yellow. The back of his tail is brown. No, it's he, not. He has, no, a, it's... he has a spot. Yes, the, he has a he has a spot. Yes, the way Pikachu is, it, it's. Pikachu by base. Put your my- mouth on the mic. The base of Pikachu's tail is actually right. Brown. No, 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 no. The base yes, is. No, we're but talking about people the tip. Thought... Yeah, not the tip. I know what people think thought, the tip yeah. is. No, we we never talk about black. the base. You always talk about the tip, Cito. That's right. Oh, tip goes. Oh, okay. Tip is what we pay attention to. The and the last thing. one I have on here, Dad, is Mickey Mouse. So Mickey Mouse might be the most famous cartoon character in the world, but even Disney's famous mouse is often misremembered in the minds of uh, fans. People often report the character wearing suspenders when he does not. No, he just has no shirt on. He's I just gloves. never remember the suspenders. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. Not remember. yet. I don't remember. That's the first time I've actually heard. Wasn't that there one. a version of a mouse, I know Mickey mouse that was like a the, knockoff the white pants where the he wore okay. suspenders? I- I, I think sure. so. I think I can argue that one because wasn't the black and white like the first original variation of Mickey? Mickey have suspenders on the boat. That would be Steamboat Willie. I don't yeah, think but so. Like, I think he did what, actually. That may kind Hold of up. evolve it. I have a phone. Why am I not yeah, looking so. this up? Like there, are, I'm sure there's like pictures of Mickey wearing suspenders, like based on the costume. I don't think wearing movie. suspenders. I think he might be wearing like an overall type thing because I remember there's like white things on his chest. I'm like, I know they're not using nipples on on Mickey Mouse. No, I don't think Mickey has nipples. Nah, well, I mean, Steamboat I guess he would have Steamboat to have Steamboat nipples really as a mouse. Have suspenders either. Now remember, it's the it's the uh, other it's the other guy that had the suspenders. Mortimer Mouse. What? I guess. Mortimer Mouse? Mortimer was actually Mickey's first real name and then Walt changed it to Mickey because right. Mortimer sounds better. I mean, Mickey sounds better. <laughs> Mortimer. Well, just think about it, though. Like, <laughs> Imagine the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme trying to spell this, Mortimer. This. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell that without the tune. <laughs> this is how I think of it. Donald has the shirt. Mickey has the pants. You put them together to make an outfit. I have no idea. I, I'm trying to admit, like, think of Mickey Mouse right now. What is he? What is he wearing up top? Nothing. Nothing. Can you Google a picture of Mickey Mouse for me? I don't even remember what the fuck. Oh, God. My fucking Christ, man. Like, this is... This, Mickey this... Mouse. Oh, shit. Oh, it says painting, but... <laughs> Guilty. His shorts oh, yeah. are... Okay, no, that's why. This His... is why... It's high this tops. is why people think it is. His pants are so far <laughs> up his damn body high waters my my, my boy the, is thinking it's a flood yeah the, the buttons on him look Holy. like they could be nipples or Holy. something connected they to look something. like there should be suspenders coming over his shoulder to the buttons that are on his chest because almost, his pants are so high here. like nobody's wearing their pants that high and it couldn't stay there I properly mean, our grandfather wore his pants that high but <laughs> he was also wearing suspenders he also thought it was mickey mouse <laughs> <laughs> like but yeah, so Dad, you have fifties ones. I got oh, one from the fifties. How many people remember the I, I Love Lucy show? Sure, I, yeah, yeah. Okay, Big, you expect yeah. me to remember this? I don't even know. Well, what you're talking about. Uh, well, it's Americana number Hold one. On, you don't know okay. I Love Lucy? Okay. It was a very, very, very famous show in the fifties. 
All right, for all the people out there that don't know who I Love Lucy is, Lucille Ball and his husband and her husband at the time, Ricky Ricardo. Well, he they he never really spoke proper English. So in the in the show, it, it would always be like, uh, you know, when you, when somebody says something, like, Lucy, you got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Wasn't the case. He actually said, Lucy, you got. No, I'm sorry. You, you huh? Don't say it in the accent. You're just gonna fuck it up. Lucy, you got. All right, everybody remembers Lucy. You got some explaining to do. Yes. When in he fact was Cuban, he says, that's his accent. Right. When in fact he said, Lucy, you got a lot of explaining to do. So it wasn't some explaining to do. It was, you know, a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of. Okay. Okay. Sure. So we're gonna take a short break. I stopped myself. <laughs> there. We're gonna take a short break, real quick. Want and then um, you have to make changes. we're going to get into some definitions about uh, false memories and, and talking about Where does that. it come from? And uh, <laughs> then we have more. There's a lot more Mandela effects we'll get through. Oh, yeah. That's, I have a whole study. I just want to I just want to run that bitch down. Yeah. All right. So we will be right back. If you like this video today please click the like and subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification icon to keep up with all our videos. Welcome back everybody to our episode about the Mandela Effect Mandela as we effect. begin season 9 in our parapsychology season. Uh, our episode again everybody presented by Dubby. I'm going to keep on saying it until you guys go out and buy some Dubby. Buy some fucking Dubby. Go to dubby.gg, punch in the code is this real when buy you check dubby. out. Is this real PC all buy over I, I apologize for that. Punch buy in the code is this real PC and you get 10% off dubby. your Dubby products. Buy the fucking Dubby. Buy. Gives you all the energy. I don't think they approve of that type of. I don't think it's more of a peer pressure into <laughs> buying Dubby. <laughs> I, like, that what? is not so subliminal advertising. I was going to say, come on. I see all the shit on YouTube where guys are like, buy it. Buy my fucking drink. Buy it. Yeah, but it's not like we're sitting there like, do it or something bad's going to happen to you. Like, no, that's no, going to be no, no, see, that's, a, that's, threat. that's no. a threat. That's a okay. threat. That's a I'm threat. just trying to sound like Batman while I do. You think Batman drinks Dubby? Of course. Okay. He's powered by vengeance. He doesn't need Dubby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so Dubby's next flavor, vengeance. <laughs> that would be amazing. And if they come out with that, we're suing. Batman Vengeance. Or, or we, well, get, no, you we can't get a little bit more out of it. Yeah, like you give us like 30% of the profits from that. That would be fun. We'll take uh, just, that, just that one product. Though. Just yeah. the one product. Um, all right, so we're going to get uh, serious now, guys. We're going to get into the deeper meeting. He, just, he just deeper conducted an experiment on meeting. Oh, he did? Tell us about the experiment. Yeah, so, uh, okay, let me introduce okay. this. So, Cito. You are actually studying psychology in school, right? Yes. I believe so. so we are getting, uh, obviously, you are in college uh, or university, right? Which, what university do you go to? Or if you don't want to say it, you don't I'll have to. I prefer not to say it. All right, cool. Some of you he, guys he will not, say he, will not, he, he does not feel comfortable disclosing that information. I am not risking my college career because of that one. Me? Yes, you. Yes, you. I'll you. fucking tell you what school you're going to right now. <laughs> Come on, let's all be honest. We all don't want to hear from you. That's a good point. That's a good point. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So, you're studying this, and and you know, I know you were mostly excited. You and Josh were yes, mostly please. excited about this season to begin with. Um, so let you know, let's. Go, what what did you just do? What mind control shit did you just do on on Eric, uh, Mr. West? Well, in reality, I just wanted to test a little bit on what Eric thought about the Apple logo. All right. So, we all know what the Apple logo looks like yeah, yeah. or may look like depending on the Mandela effect. I despise Apple. I don't care. Fuck you. Okay. Just saying. Well, um, I know what the Apple logo is. Like you have the, the bitten the, apple with the leaf on top. What but side is the bitten apple on? The right side. Let's see. It's on the left side? I'm going to say it's, I mean, facing it, it would be the apple's left, my right. Yes. Okay. Oh, or okay. Eric. But I know that piece that goes on top fits on the apple itself. Yes. All right, he's showing. Hold on. All right, we're going to be experimented upon. So it's just real quick. Yes. Which is right? That's the right one. Yeah. And then it's like, how confident are you? 100%. How many times you've seen it? Stuff like that. Billion times. I have a one right here. Oh, I can't see it. You can't yeah. see it. You're familiar with it. Yeah. Yes. I've, I've had a blueberry. Blueberry. Blackberry? Blackberry. I've had a blackberry. Shut up. I've had a Blackberry once in my life, and I've also this had... This motherfucker just had a pear phone, bro, from iCarly. That's what he just yes. had. <laughs> I had a Blackberry one time this in my life. This had a blue 
Blackberry. And I also had one Android, and I did not like it. I mean, I liked the Blackberry. I did. Blackberry was shit. No, that was was the, the shit. I'll be I'm honest. Sorry, I had sorry. it was the shit. I had a broken one my so, uh, junior year in high school. I don't know if you remember that. I don't even remember that far back. But yeah, yeah, everyone knows yeah. the Apple logo. Everyone yes. knows the Apple logo. Or at least so they... because of that, based on the study that I'm using, it's less likely people will fall for the Mandela effect for it. Because it's so widely. It's so widely optioned. Yeah. For example, the response ratio for it is that out of one, aka out of everyone who studied for it, 0.2 believed in the second variation of it, whereas on the opposite side. Right. And then 0.8 give or take 0.8 because there's a small percentage that people don't actually see the logo with the apple bitten on yeah so but most of the population actually do believe it's the correct way what 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 can i ask a question yeah does it tell you where those statistics come from studies done uh this is peer like, reviewed i know is- but like but i'm talking about location like population of the world because i'm just gonna go on a limb there and say there's a large portion of children in China, who are making these phones, they know exactly what side of the leaf is, of the apple's bitten off. But they can't make that mistake. They see it every day. What, man? They have tiny screws. It's easier to get. That's what I'm asking. Is it's like, was this poll taken in America or is it taken in like. It's seven. He's done. Hey! <laughs> Go on, Sito. This is an American poll, yes. Hey, you definitely have a special place in hell along with that. No, no, he, he, no, that's not a special place. It's the permanent place. Where was I wrong? <laughs> He's the reason why I wake up and choose violence. He's the reason <laughs> why I decided not to name my school. That too. That was a safe bet. Nope, nope. You're not going back up. You're done. You're done till the next segment. You've lost your segment privilege. <laughs> this motherfucker's in timeout, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, keep them there. Yep, go on. <laughs> so I'll, I'll come back to the study because the study is done in th- about three to four different experiments. Um, whether just by looking at three logos placed in front of you, like let's we'll use the C3PO for example. Um, one would be all gold, one would be the silver leg, one would be like a bronze leg, right? Well, you- It'd be something like that. They'll answer the questions how familiar. For example, Star Wars fans like you two would be like, I'm very familiar. How much times you've seen it between once and 10 times. You guys say like maybe 10 and then you continue on. Some of them are based off of um, just blurred images and imagery specifically. So I'll I'll come back to that because it goes deeper into it. But I know we want to go through examples. The silver leg did fuck me up. Didn't he have a red arm also? That was no. in the seventh movie or the eighth movie, no, or whatever. The, the new one. So okay. yeah, that was done for a really stupid reason. And if you, you know, so I'm from not gonna my, get so into from it, my but. understanding of C3PO, he was always gold. He yeah. has from the knee down. I forget which left or right. It's silver. Yeah, he and had I can one I, I can leg. almost understand why. But wasn't it because like from, well I know that you hate the prequels but in the prequels he was he was silver. In the prequel no he wasn't. No, he wasn't. In, in fact, the prequel the first movie he was naked basically yeah. it was just wires and a framework because he was yes. Luke Luke Skywalker still working on him. Right in the second one he wait, might have been okay, silver wait, or talking, something but prequel, not Luke we, sorry Anakin was still Anakin, working. Anakin right right right. Okay. Brain fart. But, but, but in the original story, but they were like, oh yeah, he always had a silver leg. And I'm like, no, he didn't. Like in the Star Wars 1977, A New Hope, he did not have a silver leg. He did. Was and it the right one? I don't know, we left or right. I don't remember. But I can kind of understand why left I never leg. noticed it. It was the left leg? In the poster. The I'm, okay. at, I'm remembering the poster like, now. Right. It was like, it's like from the knee down. Right. right. But I kind of had, I can like, when you think about it, I'm like, all right, it makes sense why I don't notice. Number one, I'm watching the Star Wars movie. I don't give a fuck about this robot's leg. Well, well, I'm not paying attention to it. And number two, a lot of times it's taking place in the desert. Yeah. And the gold from the desert reflecting off the silver, yeah. it looks gold anyway. Yes. So maybe that's why I didn't notice I'll it. I'll get into that point a little later when I sure. actually go over other points of the study because there's another experiment done where it's using just strictly one, maybe small fragment of the image. And sure. then you have to see it. Then you have to like predict the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, for example, I'll just say one now, Pikachu. We can all see like I don't know maybe Pikachu's like eye and like the little red, the red cheek. cheeks. Then we we'll, we can imagine the rest of Pikachu, but some people imagine the tail, and some people like the tail like what we With all black, know is the Mandela yeah. effect and yeah. then the actual regular version. 
and that goes into a whole different thing. But I know you guys wanted to talk about definitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First. Real quick, because I don't know if this is, a, I believe it is a real thing. Wasn't there at one specific point a female version of Pikachu that did have a black tail? Female Pikachus don't have a black tail. What they do have is that their tails are heart shaped. Heart shaped. Okay. Yes. That's that's what it was. That's what they. That, well, that's what they did when they introduced genders into po- yes. into Pokemon. Yes. I, okay. And I'm waiting. So, sorry. There are two. I'm not gonna go into that. Yeah. Go shut ahead. up. Shut up, Anthony. Shut up. Go on. Definition. So when it comes to definitions, there's we could take two sides of it. The memory process, which is we all know can understand memory itself and what it is. Well, memory is fragmented, though. Yes, memory is fragmented, but there's also different types of memory. Short term, long term. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and I and lack both. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Cookie for you. Thank you. you want a Kit Kat? Not sponsored. Yeah, I do. No, actually, give me a Snickers. Hold on, Joey. Kit Kat does it have a hyphen or not? No, it doesn't. Some people think it does. I could have sworn it does. See, no. Kit Kat does not have a hyphen. I need a dash. Oh, yeah, or a dash. Yeah, a between. Where the fuck it is? Actually, the line in between. The line in between. But back to the memory process itself. It's very deep and detailed. But I'm not gonna go like spend like five hours explaining it. But yeah, we don't basically just just surface around the tip. So, short-term memory, smart. long-term memory, it's oh, whether how you remember things. Yeah. Short-term memory are usually, like, more recent things, uh, like maybe what you f- learned five minutes ago. Like, sure. C-3PO That's- conversation, that. Long-term memory would be, like, you actually remember the entire Star Wars series. <clears throat> but there's an actual process towards mem- memory. First one being the encoding stage. Now, that is... <laughs> Yeah, dude, just, you, have to get, you have to be dumb it down for him. So, so wait, I, wait, I wait, told wait. you, Seto, they're the not that the smart. Yeah, I, understand. I, I get what he's saying, but so, he... Fuck, I'm not a computer. No, hold on, hold on. No, encoding... Can, can, can I take a guess of what that, sound, what that sounds like? Yeah. Yeah. So, an encoding uh, process of, like, when you're learning information is, like, what your senses are picking up at that given moment, and then your brain is, like, processing those neurons into actual information for you to remember? Yeah, that's basically it's the it's you collecting the information. I didn't say you were gonna get it wrong. So yeah, Eric, you're, you're actually basically right. It's the collection of information based off all senses, and then that leads into the storage stage. You understand what storage means, Joey? Yeah, yes, I do. All right, I that's, don't know where it is on the brain, but cool. I'm not going places on the brain. That gets complicated for Christ. So, anyways, that's the storage, and then there's the retrieval. And that's after you encoded everything, stored everything, and that's now you remembering it. But you right. have to think about what you're doing first that's, because you're yeah. not because you don't know that information unconsciously. And correct me if I'm wrong, we don't remember things the way we remember it. We're remembering the last time we remembered it. Correct. What? I'll take explain <laughs> what I mean. So if I have a memory of like I went and I picked up I don't know, like I walked over there, I picked the hooker. up yes. Shut up. I walked over there. I, okay. I remember looking for a book over there, oh, up there, right? I was looking for a book earlier. But if I have to remember that memory later on, I'm not remembering I walked over there to pick up, look for the book. I'm remembering the time I remembered I was looking for a book. My fucking brain <laughs> hurts. I'm going to be honest with you. This whole fucking thing is so fucking confusing. It's not even funny. I, you know what I'm getting out of this episode? I got to be honest. To me, I mean, you want to give all these explanations? That's fine. It comes down to one simple thing. Pay a fuck attention and remember it correctly. <laughs> no, actually, no, that's no, not no, simple. No, it Dad, no, it's that's not, not, it's that's not, not that simple. simple. How can nine million people remember one thing one way and it's wrong? Oh, okay, so when it comes to something We're like... all going through this collective... collective well, no, collective when you said memory. like the Ricky Rick, Ricardo thing or the right. Star Wars I Am Your Father like... It gets legs like, of its own. It gets legs of its own based off of like, oh, that sounds better, so that must be true. And if more people feel that that's the way it is even though it wasn't it becomes the truth and it also comes down to another psychological thing where like because people are like pack animals because if you're if if the majority is agreeing with something you don't want to go against the grain well there's that too yeah most people don't want to feel outside the grain so they'll just subconsciously agree to something like that 
Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds so, right. So that I'll would... give you another right? example. Here's another Please. way to actually yes. look at it. Go ahead. So it's not just memory itself, but it could be um, another thing called heuristics. And what the fuck is that? Heuristics? So I'm not, I'll just go into it, but basically, let's look at it as um, say, you know, you didn't watch Star Wars, but you knew that Luke, you heard of that Luke, I am your father. That statement. Yeah, if when I didn't you, read it here, I would be saying the same thing, you know. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but if you go in, your brain kind of changes up the actual sentencing of when it's actually said, and you won't catch on to the, that's not what he's saying. Yeah. It's because you're kind of pre-programmed to recognize these words that you don't actually recognize them when it comes up. That way, like misheard lyrics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's like right, listening. For that part, I can say I, I can say it has to be something to do with the brain. But yes, there's certain we, little if, if nine thousand people remember one thing one way. Sure. And it's not the correct way. Yeah. Why? What is making it not the correct way? That these all these the, people. The, the, the way that the, it takes on life on its own. Like if you sit there and so say, basically our brains are fucked up. Is or it's, well, I mean, no, 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 it's but not it's, even it's fucked easy up. to it's confuse just... two things. Like yeah. there's a there's a like do we, is it Jiffy peanut butter or is it Jiff peanut butter? Right? It's Jiff. But why do people remember Jiffy? Because there's a peanut Jiffy. butter. Jiffy. Why is it? Why do people remember Jiffy? Because there's also a peanut butter named Skippy. And it's easy to remember Skippy and Jiffy, Jiffy. sounds the same. So they must so even though and they're both peanut butter brands. And, and so then, yeah, so they must it must be Jiffy because the Skippy's out there too. So that goes back to my my previous what I said before. Kind of like laziness. Take the time it. and and remember it correctly. I will that's say it like thing. this because it's not something that's important enough to remember, yeah, so well, it's easy to forget. Yeah, I agree. Me, I agree with that. Let, so dad, when it comes to memory, memory isn't like a movie. That's one thing. Memory, you can't look at a memory and remember it exactly how it was. Right. No matter whether it be you remembering a movie, no matter whether it be you remembering a crime scene. There are core. There can, are, can I there, say something? There are core quick. moments that you do remember. Wait, that, yeah. That, that, hold on. Explain to me. Hold, I uh, yeah, but but what I'm saying, it, it it's hard, especially, and I don't. I, I hate the way it's gonna say, but the older generation, they turn around because I know what Dad's thinking. Who cares if it's Skippy or Jiffy? It's fucking peanut butter. That's what they'll say. Like that. That's that. That's the point. Like yeah. he's like, who gives a fuck what the name of it is? I just want the fucking peanut butter. Right, so does this also? Does that go? make me part of his generation? Because I kind of. Because because who who gives a fuck, bro? It's fucking peanut butter. Yeah, to me, I mean, all these everything that we've read or we've all these examples are meaningless. They're meaningless. It's how, not how that they're meaningless. It, you know what it is, though? I, I don't think it, it's, it comes to the point where it's meaningless. I think because it's it's taken a life of its own as far as just the Mandela effect alone. Like, there, you have to just search on TikTok, Dad. And that be, uh, we're TikTok, surprised. The kind of no, no. We're but, surprised at how how often we misremember things. That's, that's the, the thing. The, the big thing about the Mandela effect is, and I, I do agree with you to a degree. I mean, I agree with you to a degree. It's like, who gives a fuck? It's just peanut butter. It, it is what it is. Who gives a shit what it's called? But it's a phenomenon. It's But then when you sit back and you go, wait a second, I was wrong about that, and that, and that, and that. And like, holy shit, look how many things but we then, just don't pay and, attention and to. And it'll also be very important when you're on a game show one time and a million dollars on the line. Is it Jeff or Jiffy? Well, fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> then it becomes really important. But well, let me bring a more real life that. scenario into this. You're saying, like, peanut butter. Who cares about peanut butter, right? But Mandela Effect is more involving false memory and how the memory works. Now, apply that to a crime scene. Apply that to a confession. Now, when you look at it, if you're being robbed at gunpoint, here, and this is where I was going to go with memory, and I actually wrote a piece on this for a class on with cognitive psychology. You're so smart. Steve. About um, psychology within the justice system, and specifically the court system. Now, within this, memory plays a big part with witnesses. And because of false memory and how it works in the coding stage, this is all sensory, everything, anything from sight to <laughs> at the beginning of the fucking show, I asked you to turn your goddamn fucking phone to silent. It was on silent. Obviously not. <laughs> I did. Jerk off. We're already an hour and a half into this. Maybe it's hour. the Mandela effect. It's an and hour. And Jiff and Jiffy and Skippy and Scott. Well, let's just put it like this. After Sheeto's done with your definition, we're, 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 we're going oh. to go around and we're going to ask, you know, if you believe the Mandela effect is a real oh thing or not. Oh, my God. 
And then we're going to take a break, and then we're going to play the game afterwards. And then we're going to play yes. about a 10-minute game. Yeah, why don't we take a piss before we start that shit? That's fine. Get, finish your, your, your thought. So, yeah, right. so this crime scene stuff. So, going back to crime scene and false memory, the encoding stage, because of scenarios, for example, you're getting robbed in the dark alley. Yeah. The guy has a hoodie on. What color is the hoodie? It may be black, it may be blue, it may be dark blue. But you don't remember exactly because of the Cody stage being screwed up yeah. because of pressure and tension. It may be saying. different things that you may correlate. Get butt naked strip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know about this. you, but if That's I'm being mugged in the a, fucking I'm not point, about what Eric. The- well, here's the thing. Yeah. Worry about oh, here's the thing. When someone, you're when not the gonna remember to those things because it's dark. It's at night. You have a gun in your fucking face. You're probably shitting your pants. I, exactly. To be honest with you, this could be broad daylight in Macy's window, and I'm not gonna fuck remember. What is with you in Macy's <laughs> window? <laughs> That's it, it, the it point. Your memory. There's too many I things mean, that have happened to you in Macy's God. window. Yeah. Now. I'll, I'll give you a real life example. Like, holy fuck. Like, like something like you could, if if it's an event with a lot of witnesses. Right, it's like all I like a spectator sport. Yeah. Right. We watched what's his face get hit in the chest uh, uh, in the Bills game a couple months ago, and like until Demar scrambling. Yeah. Like for immediately it was like you had six different people going. No, no, he went down after he was hit this way. No, no, he was hit that way. Even with instant replay, you saw motherfuckers turning around. Like, no, no, he was hit a little bit lower, a little bit higher. We were all watching the same thing, but we all saw something different. Until everyone stopped and said, okay, let's all watch the replay my, together. My question for that, maybe Suto, you can answer this. How much does the... You, you, everyone knows the telephone game, right? And how, how to play a telephone game. Yes. How yeah. much does that come into effect for something like the, the, the Mandela effect? You know, people just saying, well, no, this is how I remember it. And then that next person adding something else to it. You know? That plays into short-term memory. Short-term memory. So when it comes to short-term memory, that's the immediate memory that you get at the time. So telephone and if game you we hear all know. It correctly. <laughs> yeah, and if you hear it correctly. Yeah, that's exactly. Correctly. But that plays off of hearing correctly is also the sensory yeah. that you have to process. play off and process. And plus with the telephone game you have to process it quickly and pass it on. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's also true. So it's about speed. between speed and you know, having to do all this, it creates issues with the encoding process that then issues with you remembering. And this could really apply to anything that might happen fast, because even movies, movies can be fast paced action and you may see something like, oh, yeah, that guy like fell down there, but he really didn't. And he got back up, whatever. So, or Anthony, can... that's why no girls remember having sex with you. Probably, yeah, it's probably it happened so fast. <laughs> it happened so, you it happened so fast. <laughs> Want, want to see me see do it, it again? again? <laughs> <laughs> it's not memorable. <laughs> but I can understand it. But, see, the thing with the, the whole memory thing is that it can also happen with traumatic events. Oh, Say, yeah. the oh, loss sure. of a loved one. And the more, tra- the more tragic, the more stress is put on the brain. Exactly. And then you have some people who are a victim of something really traumatic, and like they'll block it out. They'll block it out completely. Yeah. Yeah. And Shut that's a down. whole completely side of things that will make it even more difficult for memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for, like, years of therapy and breakthroughs and really diving into this. I was like, you know what? I do remember this thing. And even at that, you're just, like, uh, uh, you can't just say, like, okay, well, now that you remember it's gospel, it's like, okay, you remember something, and now, like, how true is that memory? Because mm-hmm. it is all subjective because it's coming from one source yeah. that yeah. cannot be verified. Exactly. And, you know, some people say, like, I I remember that day, like, very clearly. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't want to bring down the mood. But, like, for example, the day Uncle Keith passed away. Do you guys remember what you were wearing that day? No. Wearing? I I do. No. You do. I remember what Bubba was wearing. The only reason I remember it, because I have a video of me on that day. But you have physical, actual proof that you can look at. But say if you're just trying to remember it at base, no. anything you could have remembered it, or he, you might remember it like I was wearing like a T-shirt like of this color, right, right. But it actually, I don't remember much. what he was wearing. 
No, well, I can tell you what I was wearing because I left work. I was wearing my work shirt, which is blue and blue jeans. Right, right. See, but yeah, but that's I, but the, see, right, but I went his to memory, work. It comes back to work. Right, you know, you had a yeah. you have a uniform. I didn't have a uniform for my job. I worked in construction at the time. I can't tell you. I can say what I was probably wearing. You were wearing that ugly ass fucking jacket that was like red and orange or some shit. See, I see. I don't. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, I, I sure you remember it correctly, Josh, too. Yeah, like I can remember where I was when I got the phone call, like at the spot on 287. Like yeah. I can remember that. I remember what van I was driving. Those things are the first-hand experiences. Because those are the like, first-hand experiences. Those are the experiences that encode better in your brain. Right. Because that's when it all happened. But I wasn't yeah. giving a shit about what shirt I was wearing, so it doesn't encode. Yeah, like exactly. I, I remember waking up to the banging on my door. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. hearing the news of that of of what of what happened. Yeah. But I don't like if I didn't have the video. You would have never I, remembered at all. At all. Right. And this goes back to dad. This is all about memory. The Mandela effect. Now you're questioning why may thousands of people might actually question like, oh, why is this this? But it's because of stereotypes. And this goes back to heuristics as well. Heuristics are basically our go-to things. Stereotypes can be even be said. Like, for example, um, you're walking at night and you see a guy wearing a dark hoodie and his pockets coming right at you. Your first sense of thought would be like, okay, maybe I want to get out of his way. Maybe avoid him a little bit for safety. That's heuristics. It's your first go-to thing in your mind. It's what they use in movies, like to set up suspense and then there's no payoff. It's like you think he's going to jump her in the alley and it's like, no, he walks right past her. And then the real killer comes out as as a jump shit. That happened in the new Scream movie. Yeah, exactly. It's basically heuristics are the rule of thumbs. Sure. (laughs) Like your rule of thumbs that you come to directly and heuristics can affect basically everyday life and how you may process things. Or it can even be like things you never even realized, like um, anything like racial bias that you might have. Okay. These are your everyday things that you can have. You will never really realize. And it can be different things. So there's a definition reason why people are racist sometimes? Well, take a look at this. I'll, I, I think I have an example for that. If you remember, Anthony, our grandparents, well, gra- our grandmother specifically had a slight scared she was slightly scared of Asians. Sure. Of Asian people. No, she didn't like them. <laughs> oh. No. I mean, I'm so, not going to. Look, you know. You, well, you just put it. Hold on. Any way you want. Hold on. Hold on. And then let's <laughs> put it like this. What era did she grow up in? The, at, during she was the, World War II, where yep. they were scared of J- the Japanese people. Uh, of Pearl that Harbor. could be an actual really good example. Because yeah. of the fact that they may experience this in their life. And growing the, as a child, too. As a child, that's the thing. Everything's developed early as now as and a I child. like this. I'm afraid of the dark sometimes because of this asshole. That's true. Like, I'll be I completely scared, honest. I sometimes I child. hate I, I hate being in the dark. Like, really? Like, I'll, I, I sleep in the dark. I'm yeah. fine with completely sleeping in the dark. But I face the wall and I cover my head because I don't want to look around. I don't like I'll be honest. It is one of the most fucked up things. But I'm not going to sit there and, and uh, uh, like, it, it's a thing that happened. That's because... He used to scare the shit out of me in the dark because we used to have to share a share room. And he used to scare the shit out of me saying there was something in my closet. There was something under my bed coming to get me. Sometimes it'd be really quiet and I would just unzip the front of my pants. Yeah. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So You're a piece of it, shit. it's literally that that is a, a thing that happens. Looking back at anything you do, say in the dark, right? Is there anything like you may react that you, looking back on it, you do a lot when you're in the dark? Like how you said, you want me to say that on air? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking about like putting, like you know, turning your face in the wall, put covering your head. Well, no, I do that every night. When I shut my TV off, I face the wall. Do put... you actively think of this? No, I don't. You, th- no, that no, could no. be heuristics. It's just it's a your rule you. of thumb. All right. I mean, that's after I have my fun time. But yeah. you know, it's you know, like with Sarah, she's like she's afraid of the dark too, and she's like she's like, no, no, I gotta keep the TV going. And I'm like, as soon as she's asleep, I'm shutting the fucking thing off. Because it's my rule of thumb clashing with her rule of thumb because I don't have any problems sleeping in the dark. Mm-hmm. But all this kind of goes back together with the Mandela effect. Because while some may remember it wrong, as it, it maybe as something may have encoded it wrong, because people are developing like these heuristics of even small things like Luke, I am your father, because four people told me that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, people yeah. just go on and reference it in many different 
cultures and media. Like he would just tell people, Luke, I am your father. He would guess on the show because that's what he heard. That's what he heard. That's now Cause he never the availability seen of. Again, you're had. right. I never seen the movie. Right, right, but right. How many times? I mean, I can I can literally sit there and quote you movie verse for verse. I right, mean, right, right. But because exactly. you've seen it, and you're a fan of it. But how many? I'll tell you, like, there's a lot of people who fuck up, like, get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Oh, like yeah. there are people I've, I've heard like be like get your hands off me you damn dirty ape like no it's get your stinking paws and am I correct in saying that because I could be wrong right now see I'm questioning this and I'm sitting there going I know it's get your stinking paws off me you damn dirty, you damn dirty ape. ape is it that though yes. because okay you're you're agreeing with me but you're not looking are it you a hundred percent sure on that though. That, yeah, because this can that. this can also go back to you may be slightly remember wrong. There may be even like an S in there. I, mean, I think we're right because we've seen the movie so many goddamn yeah, times. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a different story. But it's based off of not even just movies. Let's just look at everything in general. Sure, sure. Like Curious George is a monkey. Doesn't have a tail though. He doesn't have a tail. He but should. because we remember monkeys, monkeys have having tails. tails, that he we remember him having a tail. Right. Fruit of the loom. There's a loom in it. There really isn't. It's just well, a, no, cornucopia. a cornucopia. Cor- a whatever you get, it, you get the point. <laughs> I love. It. He's throwing that I, definition, that yeah. definition, and he's a, a loom. I'm, right, I'm dude, just really thinking. Well, about I mean, it, the right? thing with the fruit of the loom is because we associate that about? image with Thanksgiving, which is exactly the same. No, see, thing. you're exactly. gonna sit there. And, uh, is it you, damn dirty ape? That, I mean, uh, get no, your stinking me, hands What do you off. think it is? Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. See, what is it? Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. It's so minor, and it really doesn't matter because the, the, cause another thing I think about this, too. Didn't you just say that, though? I say get, get. not take. We also think uh, it's the same thing when, like, we don't read a word, like, letter by letter. We read the word collectively. Mm-hmm. We don't process a sentence word by word. We process it collectively. So when it's like, get your stinking paws off me or take your stinking paws off me, I'm not thinking of the exact words that make up that sentence. I'm thinking of the meaning of the sentence. Logically. Logically, exactly. And, and the emotions so spurred on that. So it's easy to misremember because it doesn't really fucking matter. Although technically, realistically, it's what you said it was. Yeah. And I'm completely, I said 100%. That's what I think it is. And I was wrong. This, right. goes, this Actually, really just goes back fun, to the whole thing. Fun, fun little, fact. Fun little fact about that. I actually saw something one time that says uh, your brain has the ability to read the first letter and the last letter of a word. And that's you, true. It can be all fucked up in the middle. And yes. You'll still read it like it's fine. Yeah. Yes. yes. No, that's yes. very true. Oh, I do is, those tests all the time on Facebook. Because again, because again, you're you're looking at Not the that structure it's a of test. the word. You look at a picture. Yeah. And you it's see like, it. can you read this? Yet? Yeah. 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 And I think it's because you're reading the structure. You're reading the sentence. And, but at first it's hard because you're reading the word Giggity. and your structure the structure of the first and last you can remember like that's the word actually it goes it's actually you can argue some argue it's correlated towards heuristics again rule of thumb as long as you see the first you letter you get that tattooed right across your forehead heuristics <laughs> Your mother would probably kill the both of us if you yeah, did that. Yeah, probably but, would. You know, but that the idea sure also goes back to it. Like, you know, we can see the first letter, last letter, and then we see each letter of the same word, but in different order, all jumbled up. All right. But we could recognize it, take it apart. It goes back and to the put it back thing. together. And then yeah. once you're doing that, the rest of the phrase becomes easier so, to read. What I think we'll do now is that we we're gonna take a short break. Yeah. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna play a little with with us three over here. It's it's kind of hard because they those two can see what what's on the screen. I'll play with you three over there because you can't really see what's on the screen. Yeah. There's it, there's fifth the giggity. There's there's uh fifty things, so we'll just go through them, right? So we'll be yeah. right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello, all. This is JC three from Is This Real? Do you want to start your own podcast? then look no further than Buzzsprout.com. We here at Green Hour Media use Buzzsprout, and we love the team at Buzzsprout. They are all about helping you succeed. Buzzsprout gets your show listed in every major podcast platform. Follow the link in our show notes to let Buzzsprout know that we sent you. It gets you a $20 paid Amazon gift card if you sign up with a paid plan and help support our show. Join us and over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout.com to get your message out to the world. Welcome back, everybody. 
as we continue our episode, uh, our last part now of the Mandela Effect. And our episode is brought to you, everybody, by W. Go to shit. W.gg, put Drink in the code it. Is This Real PC, Drink and get 10% off your W products. With or else. Great flavors. At, uh, like, uh, what, Dragon Aid? Yes. Yeah, Dragon Aid, yes. Dragon Aid is delicious. I'll be honest. I want to try it just because it has the word dragon in it. All right. I'm not actually tasting a real dragon. No, I just want to try it because it has the word dragon in it. Okay. Or okay. else. So, with this, um... <laughs> or else? <laughs> with this, uh, Mandela really Effect, really we're going to play a little Mandela Effect else? games, guys. Go ahead. Let's go. Come and, on, um, Well, did you just call me a monkey? <laughs> Monty. Oh. Let's go, Monty. All right, that's fine. So, again, you guys can shout it out, too, because obviously you can't see what the right or wrong answer is. But it should be no. All right, so for the first one up, Looney oh Tunes, my. guys. Oh my is it T-O-O-N-S or is it T-U-N-E-S? Ooh, uh, silence. It's T-O-O-N-E-S. It's T U N, but I always. T U N E S. Only the reason why answer. I know it's T U N is because I recently found out about that. And I, I, what, Josh, no, your just, whole life is a lie because I of that? My whole gonna, life I'm is a lie. I don't I know which one was the right answer. <laughs> I looked at this picture mic. for five fucking minutes, and I could not give an actual answer. Here's how I remember that. You ready? You ready for this one? You had Looney Tunes, and you had another type of cartoon. Merry Melodies. They're both puns on music. So tunes and melodies, that's how I remember it. All right. So the next one. Fuck you. My life is so long. <laughs> the next one, guys. Everyone knows the show in the 90s, Sex in, in the city. city or Sex and the City. Which one is correct? Isn't it Sex in the City? An or in? An, An or in. in? In. In. Sex and the City or Sex in the City? I, I'm going to just I'm gonna guess it'll be Sex in Sex in the city. And. And. It is sex and the city. Yeah, that is the correct one. Two sure. separate ideas. We have sex here and we have the city there. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it would make sense. It would be sex in the city. I can get that. But, you know. Yeah, that's why. I think that's why I never saw it. Because I was just like, huh. Sounds All like right. Porn. <laughs> it does. All right. So for yeah, next one. I was just one. like, wow, at five o'clock in the afternoon, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so Febreze. Hmm? Everyone knows the spray for breeze. Is it spelled with one E or two Z? Uh, two E's. Two E's. Two one E. One E or two it's E's. Two. It's two. It is one E. No. Hold on. What, but let's. It's. It's. There's actually technically two E's. It should have said. Is it spelled with two E's or three E's? Well, there's four E's. Like two. Oh, well, there is. Consecutively. I like it, yes. Is, is it three E's? Is there two back-to-back E's in for breeze or just one E? I thought it was always two. One E. It is e one E. Easy E. Easy yeah. E. That's correct. All right. So for okay, the but wait, hold up. We did that one. What about like, because you know that companies are change their products like every like yeah. few years and shit. No, but they don't change the name. They don't change. They, yeah, you can't change the name. You can change the logo, but the name because itself if, yeah, is if a you major sit there, change. If you change the name, then you're changing the entire product. You know what I'm saying? It's a different product. Is it wrong that I legitimately don't care? <laughs> See, it goes into it like, who gives a fuck with it? I just need my room yeah. to smell not like that. Right. Uh, no, uh, there's some others where I'm like, oh, wait a minute. But for me, I was like, fuck Skechers. Yeah, fuck it, Is Skechers spelled S K E T C H E R S or S K E C H E R S? Is there a T in Skechers? Wait, wait. The first one has a T, the second one doesn't? Correct. I think it's the second, second one. With no E, What's no T. Sketchers. Is it spelled with a T or without a T? S K E C H E R S. You're all three correct. There is no T in Sketchers. Which, when you look at it, should be Skechers. Well, no, I mean. It's like Brett Favre. It's like, it's not Favre, it's Favre. All right. So here's the one that everyone loves the cereal Fruit Loops. Is it F R U I T or F R O O T? Like fruit, like the actual spelled fruit. No, two O's. Two O's. It is two O's. F R O O T. It is Fruit Loops. Yep. Not Fruit Loops. I don't remember that one because I hate it. You don't like Fruit Loops? I I never. I I don't like Fruit Loops either. I I didn't have it as much as a kid. Well, I'll be honest. I I I had um. I give less than a fuck. But my my whole thing with that, I didn't have Fruit Loops. I had um the the uh, um. Knockoff. 
No, the the other one. The, pebbles. The, yeah, the fruity, fruity pebbles. pebbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ha- I like fruity pebbles over Fruit Loops. That but was just like, me. You gotta eat it real quick, otherwise when it gets soggy, it's just like. All right. I mean, we did the King George one. We did this one. We did the Pikachu one. We talked about the Kit Kat. We talked about the Fruit Loops. All right. Oh, this one fucked me yeah. up. Cheese its or cheese it. Cheese it. Cheese it. Yeah. Singular. Uh, we swear. Yep, it is singular. It All is the reason why I know this it. is because ever since I got on diet, like cheese, it was like my go-to <laughs> snack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mourning the loss of a snack. <laughs> so when they introduced the next one, did they introduce the double stuff Oreo with two F's or the double stuff Oreo with one F? Is it S T U F or S T U F F? S T U F F. I think it was two F's because it was double stuff. I never ate them. So. I'm gonna go with double stuff, two F's. There is only one F. Which My crippling no addiction was sense. wrong. It's double stuff. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like we're gonna pur- we're gonna purposely misspell this word <laughs> and send it out. Like why, Jeff? Why do we have to do this? Because. Oh, I like this next one. Does she have cleavage or not have cleavage? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> what? We're talking the about Mona, the Mona Lisa, the Josh. Mona Lisa. Did she have a very, very obvious smile? Meaning that you look at her and you she's could see obvi- the smile. You could see the smile, smile lines, or was it more of a subtle smile? Subtle. I think it was a subtle very smile. Subtle smile. Yep, it is a. She has uh, like a very subtle smile, meaning. Like her eye, like it, it, basically she's smiling, but her face looks like she's not. Yeah, yeah. She's like, how long do I have to sit here, Leo? No, I, I still this go one. with the whole. I have fucking thing. laundry. You have to go pick up, Leo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no, no. Just to keep us smiling. Fuck off, Leo. Here, here's another. Uh, I have to pick up Angela at school. I have to pee. Okay. Here, here's, here's another one. Is it the Flintstones or the Flint Stones? Flint. Dad. How many T's are in the Flintstones? One T. There are two T's, two T's in the Flintstones. Flint Stones. Flint Stones. F L I N T S T O N E S. Oh yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Because okay. Flint, you know, everything there is a fucking pun on rocks. Flintstones. All right. How many Cinderella's ca- castles are there in Disney World? Disney World. Well, we're not, not Disney on, World. All right, so this is a trick question now. This is not a, this this is a, a, it is a type of trick it's question. It's a trick it's question. One, it's just one Cinderella castle. Hold on. There is only there is one, one Cinderella, Cinderella castle, castle, but it's in Disneyland. Or, no, it is Disney World. That's right. Well, Disneyland it is the is the, is the, uh, uh, the Sleeping Beauty castle. Oh, sleep, okay. All that right. is blue and pink. All right, so I was off. Okay. I had Wrong. Been. Does anyone remember that you guys, you, I guarantee, won't remember? This is a dad one. Dad, do you remember uh, Ed McMahon in the uh, Publisher's Clearinghouse? Uh, (laughs) Did not happen. Yeah, Ed McMahon. We could see it clear as day. Ed McMahon handing families everywhere giant checks. But really, McMahon was never a spokesperson for the company. Instead, he worked for American Family Publishers. But he never handed anyone checks. His face was simply on the envelopes. Right. People thought that Ed McMahon gave out checks. He could explain that to you. I don't know what the fuck was happening in the 90s or yeah, 80s and 90s. It's like, like, it's like you prayed that one day... Someone would, would come up at up. your do- door and be what like, happened? here's a million dollars. No, you know? I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what happened. Back in the day, they published a clearinghouse. They used to um, publish magazines. And okay. they would give you a... You'd get it in a book. And they'd, really, you're, they'd be like in a stamp. they look like stamps. 50, 60 of them. And what you'd do is you'd fill them out and you'd send them in. And that would be your chance at winning the grand prize of the publisher's clearinghouse. And if you didn't get the grand part prize, you wound up getting a subscription to whatever your favorite magazine was at the time. That's what that came down. All right. So well, some asshole would show up at your front lawn with a check and balloons. You'd be like, I can't believe this. And that's like they broadcast that's, on TV. That's like the giant check and shit. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, that's where the, all that came from. Yeah, they stopped doing that. All right. Again, how many of us have seen the movie Casablanca? Yes. I, I know of it. No. I know yeah, of it. I know of it. All right. Do you what remember the li- what was the line said by Ingrid Bergman's character, Dad? To Sam. At, like at the end, like like before she gets about on the, the music. No, no, just not the one that. Not that one. Well, it never really. It, everybody misheard that. Everybody thought they said play it again, Sam. Correct. What okay. did he really say? Play it, Sam. No. No. Play it once, Sam, for old times' sake. Okay. 
Thing. Well, we did the Luke, I am your father thing. Ah, uh, here's, Ooh, a, good here's one, a good one, Dad. Uh, okay, so has anyone seen the movie Jaws? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Dan, what was the line uh, by Roy Schneider's character? Uh, when, it, when he first sees the shark. We're going to need a bigger boat. Is that the line? Or does he say, you're going to need a bigger boat? You're going to need a bigger boat. Okay. You're going to need a bigger boat. It's not, we're going to need a bigger boat. Oh. See these little things like it, it, it's it's fuck it's fun to sit there and think about it. Yeah. You know that like easy to do it. it wasn't his boat anyways. So there's only one way he could have said that. What color is chartreuse? I don't even know if that was a fucking color. Chartreuse. <laughs> when I think of chartreuse, I, uh, it's like a charcuterie board or some shit like that. That's <laughs> yeah, what I think about. I, I, of course you're fat ass. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like pink? What are we Whoa. talking about? No, it's it's a color. It's a color. It's a color? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, here's a good one. All right, Forrest Gump. Everyone's seen Por- Forrest Gump? I haven't. I have not seen Forrest Gump. I have. It's not great seen film. Movie. So, it's because, again, it's one of those things everybody's seen. I don't need anybody to see it. Okay. Um, life is like seen a, it, so I'm better than you. <laughs> life is like a box of chocolates. Is that the line? Life is like a box of chocolates. You get what you Mama said something. Mommy used to beat me with a hose. <laughs> Call me. No, go. I, I couldn't finish that line on, on air. I think the proper ter- the proper thing was life's like a box of chocolates. <sighs> Life uh, was like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolate. That was it. That's what the line was. Oh. No, 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 we're not doing that one. What was that, that one? No, it was about this the- one legit fucked me up because it's it's been parodied countless times and they always, always have this thing in it. No, I'll explain. The movie Risky Business. Everybody knows the movie Risky Bit. Well, do you know the movie Risky Business? No. no? Okay. Tom Cruise. You know but Tom Cruise. But if I Cruise. said yes, I know. Think of okay, maybe I, I, I you know, you never seen Risky Business, but if I said think of somebody sliding into frame wearing shirt. And glasses and just socks and socks. Listen, nope. to music. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know exactly yes. what I'm talking yes. about. Did he wear sunglasses in that movie or not? During in that scene, in particular. That During scene. that scene, particular. No, I'm gonna say no. He did not. No, and everybody puts sunglasses on when well, they do time. that. It's been parodied in The Simpsons. They said, they said Family, it like, like it. It's like. Wrong, so I'm just like, no, he didn't wear sunglasses. He Honestly, wear. that did not go the way I thought it was. I was thinking that. He wear tidy whities or like boxers. That's what I thought. Oh no no, it's it's with the sunglasses. A lot of people think yeah. they wear oh, sunglasses. He doesn't. No. I think it's because I th- I think on the cover of the movie or the poster, it's him smiling wearing glasses. And I think maybe that's it. I could be wrong about that too. All right. So in the movie, uh, I believe it was that'd Silence be the, of the Silence Lambs. of the Lambs. Yeah, so, yeah. Did he say the line "Hello, Clarice"? Oh, did he? Hello, Clarice. Because everybody remembers Hello he Clarice. Say? Did he? Dad? Did he? I don't remember that movie that well. I don't yeah, remember I either, see. but I can't I know remember the, I know that. The, I know the gist. Did he say hi, Clarice? All, All he like said once. was good morning. He never what? said hello, he never said hello Clarice. Clarice at all. You're lying. That's bullshit. I've heard that. I've, I've heard him say it. Are you sure? <laughs> Here's the question. 100% sure. Here's you the heard. thing, though. I'm gonna, in that particular scene. In that scene, like I think he, may, he might say it later on at the end when he's on the phone with her. Hello, Clarice. And then he goes into like, because he's escaped. But in that scene when she walks up, he's just standing there, which is fucking terrifying. And he just says good morning. I think it's just, he just goes good morning. There. Well, Anthony Hopkins is a terrifying human being in general. Fuck it. He has 17 <laughs> lo- Yeah, he's like 17 minutes of dialogue in that movie, and he's like iconic. You yeah. respect that fucking man. Oh, no, man. I respect him with the, like, he's Every Sir fiber. Anthony Hopkins, yes. motherfucker. Yeah, thank you. All right, so for the next one, kind of fucks me up. Everyone knows the song We Are the Champions, right? We yeah. Are the I don't know where this one's going. Did in How's that it song, did he ever say of the world? Oh, no! Man. No, 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 no. Yes, no, he, he did. did not. No. Yes, he did. He did. He does sing it at the end of the song, right. but during the actual, we, like, we in that are about break, to get no. a copyright. At the no. end of the song, at the end, the outro is no. of the world. I don't so care. He does I say it in the song. 
Yes, but not in the place that you think he says well, then it. Well, you got to say that. Right, right, right. A lot of people think it's in the middle of the song. It's not. It's not. It never comes up. They think it's part of, uh, what the hell is the word for it? The chorus? The chorus, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's part of it. I chorus. But it's part of the outro at that. I am also the children. Uh, Mr. Rogers. God. What? You never seen that? Prince does, the uh, Prince was not in, the, we'll explain we'll that. Explain later. Uh, let me, I'll explain. Pri- Prince was not. Uh, invited to the We Are the World sessions. Mm-hmm. So Saturday Night Live got a hold of that and they did a whole skit about it. And it was almost impossible to find online, but I finally found on his show, Joey, and it's Billy Crystal as Prince. Yeah. He's coming out there and, and he's singing that he's weird. better. He's better than all the other guys and the artists. And then he came out and he started doing, he started singing We Are the World. Yeah. But he says instead of, uh, How's it go, Joe? It goes, we are the world. I am the world. I am also the world. I am also the world. I am, I am also, also the, the children. children. <laughs> and, he, and he just, he does this. It's, it's really funny. It's funny, funny, funny. All right. So the next one, and we have only 15 more to go. We'll quick, get through these. Yeah, the Mr. Rogers this. theme song. How does it go? How does it start? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighborhood. Nope. What? It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. In this neighborhood. Little tricky. Again, it's these little words that everyone just goes over gloss over them because they're not important. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are talked about the Lucy one. Uh, number of U.S. states. Excuse the fuck out of me. No, but I... This one's... This this has to be wrong. Not unless people are stupid. People are stupid. This is... Uh, the number of U.S. states... The correct answer is 50, obviously, but some Americans and foreigners alike recall learning that they were 51 or 52 states. The only... I joke about that because Uncle Keith used to laugh and say that Canada was our 51st state. You know that that's that's what that's what I remember. I mean, as soon as we as soon as they push the paperwork and finally buy Puerto Rico, it will be fifty one. But <laughs> what? It's a Commonwealth, Josh. Yeah, it's a Commonwealth. Relax. No shit. Uh, then, then they also gonna, then they also get Guam too, like a two for one deal. Then they'll be fifty two. Oh, okay. Uh, God, it's, it's something I've never seen. I'll be honest, Dad. Something you'll probably learn is uh, the, the places. When Sally Field won her Oscar for Places in the Heart in 1985, what was the line to her acceptance speech? Because everyone remembers you like me. You really, really like me. And that's not... I think it's they like me. They really, really like me. No. Uh, what she said was, I can't deny the fact that you like me. Right now, you like me. That's what she said. That, to me, doesn't really fucking matter. I've heard I've heard things. Because I've, in pop yeah. culture, they repeat it as... All right, this like one me. does she fuck really, me up really a bit. Like this one fucks me up, but then again, I don't care Just about. Fucking cut me off. Sorry. Okay. Everyone knows Smokey the Bear, right? Or yes. Smokey yeah. Bear? Is it Smokey the Bear or Smokey Bear? I'm gonna say Smokey the Bear. What? Can't hear you. Smokey Bear. Smokey Bear. Uh huh. <laughs> Your favorite friend, Mister uh, Smoke. Smoke. I call you Smokey, Smokey Bear. Smokey the weed. Smokey the weed. Uh, sm- I think it's Smokey Bear. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Smokey Bear too. I really don't nope, remember. Nope, it is Smokey the Bear. Ah. His name? No, it says yes. That's the name, Smokey Bear. Oh, you're right, Smokey Bear. Sorry, it is Smokey Bear. It's not Smokey the Bear. My bad. I read that wrong. It is Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. His name is Smokey, so it's Smokey Bear. His last name's Bear. I don't know why. All right. Oh my far, far. All right. Well, this one's actually a. Jeez. Okay. Um. Tank Man. Everybody know the picture of Tank Man or the video of Tank Man? I do not. No. Uh, no and perhaps the most memorable moment during the 1989 whatever the fuck. wasn't fu- alive back then, Joe. Tyan Tyan Nam- Oh, I know it was. Dad, it's, it's, it's the guy standing in front of the tanks and like there's like four tanks he's standing right in front of uh, them. What's it called? Uh, Tian, Tian, Tiananmen Square? Tiananmen yes, Square, yeah. Go. See, he knows how to read. Um, and yes. Oh, wait, yes. No, thankfully. Wasn't that in Vietnam or something? Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of people who sit there and remember My bad. It was in China. that he was run over in the video and was killed. Never happened. What? I don't remember him being run over. I only see the. I don't remember that either. There. Yeah, I, like I like you I see remember. Dumbass tank. Well, I'll be honest. I rem- I remember the video. I remember the video of him He's standing a- there, and then the tank cut tries to pivot, and then he gets in front of the pivot. And, and it then, just shows you. And how- then it cuts off before like yeah. you see it. So. It- that's what I think people sit there and, and go. And it's just a testament of how dumb those tank drive. They can't drive. Those people who are driving those tanks can't drive. You would split and go tube around him, and then no, you can't be in three places at once. How the fuck uh, is that a Nelson Mandela effect? 
Well, well they, they, people thought that he was dead. Uh, Neil Armstrong. Everybody thought that Neil Armstrong died in 2012. No. Did not happen. This man is still alive, punching people on the internet. Good for him. <laughs> that is who, not who a thing. Thought he was alive or he was dead. Same thing with Billy Graham. I don't know who the fuck Billy Graham is, but uh, like Mandela, many uh, many can't place when Billy Graham's funeral aired on TV. He died in February of 2018. I don't remember him dying. I don't even know who that man is. <laughs> he was a Rest preacher. Seriously. Uh, I saw him standing. Oh, okay. Dad, the Joan Jett song. Uh, uh, what, what's the name of the song again? I love rock and roll. I love rock and roll. What was the beginning uh, line? Line. I saw him there and asked for his name. Uh, I saw him standing there by the record machine. Right. It's really I saw him dancing there by the record machine. Was Mother Teresa canonized? I, I, you know what? I, I'm not gonna answer that. I, it was on my to-do list, and I kept saying, "Well, I have a, the president. I gotta entertain him. We go to golf, and I gotta say she it." She was canonized, but everyone remembers it during the '90s when she was still alive. No, no, you can't be canonized. You can't be canonized if you're not in heaven. You can't exactly. If you, you're not dead, you can't be canonized. That's kind of like one of the prerequisites. You gotta go belly up before they say you're a saint. You can't be walking around like a saint. I'm a saint. What? What the fuck does canonize mean? To be so in uh, yeah in Someone the Catholic don't. religion. When someone dies, we can add new saints to, like, oh, you're a saint now. Yeah, they're like uh, Pokemon. Every generation, you get, like, four or five of them. <laughs> you don't get cards, though. They should. I've been, I've been, uh, Pokey Priest uh, has I been a... This yeah, like, like, <laughs> hey, hey, I want a new pack of, I want, no, I want a new pack of the hologram Mother Teresa. That's what I want. In a sort of, just a picture of me like hologram this. <laughs> you're not getting canonized. No, I'm not getting canonized. <laughs> All right. I uh, might get placed into a cannon and thrown into a river like a drum, but that's about it. Why does everyone remember the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion happening in 1986? I'm sorry, 1984 or 85. It really happened in 1986. I don't remember that. I mean, I was, what was it here I at the time? It was 86. I don't know why. A lot of people place it in 84 or 85. Uh, the Lindbergh baby? Calm down, Anthony. When, I didn't do it. <laughs> when aviator Charles Lindbergh's infant son was kidnapped, the entire world focused on their attention on the story. Many remember the case going cold, but they said they found the body and sentenced the killer to death for the heinous crime. See, that's other like I, I've always heard the Lindbergh baby, but I never knew what happened, and I always thought it was an unsolved mystery. A lot of people mm-hmm. think Charles kidnapped him himself. Really? So I didn't something. know any about that. That could be a future episode of Is This Real? Yeah, it could be. Well, yeah. Uh, Patrick Swayze's health, uh, though the actor sadly died in, uh, after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, people remember say they remember him recovering. If that was the case, he'd still be here. So how is that a Mandela effect? I think it's more like he didn't like. It's like he had he announced he had cancer, but he didn't go away. Like someone who says they have cancer, like I'm going to seek treatment, and then they go into hiding and remember privatize their life. He didn't do that. Hmm? Remember publishing dates. I don't know. I could just say publishing dates of this article that you're reading. I don't know. And, like, I don't and it like know. depends who writes it. They might not be all cut up. May 25th, 2022. So relatively new. <laughs> <laughs> like he died literally 10 years ago. Like, <laughs> like I was going to say like if someone like rewrote an article, like maybe like. No. The last one, well, one of the last ones I have is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's first Oscar. Uh, though Leo finally took home his, uh, his first Oscar for Best Actor in 2016, countless people argue he scored one much earlier. It's nope. easy to get this one confused, though, because he was previously nominated five other times. Exactly. But I remember 2016, everybody was like, let's finally get Leo an Oscar. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I remember the saying, push like, for finally it. Finally yeah, give him an like, Oscar. And then... We did that one. Oh, this is the location. Oh, well, yeah, we talked about it, though. Yeah, so it, it's, it's, that's the, the, fi- the, the 50 I, I went through. But uh, that that could be good because even I didn't know that there was a difference in that there were two sides of the fucking U.S. Oh, the Disney World castle? Yeah. You didn't know there was a there was a castle in Disneyland? No, I know there was a castle. I didn't know where it was on which side. Like yeah. I didn't know that the fucking Disneyland Disney World were different, and that one was in Florida and the other one was in. California. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's oh, interesting okay. when you like compare them because. Well, Disneyland was the original. Yeah. 
Disney World, the Florida is one. Is the Florida one. And, like, there's, there are obviously things that cross over that, are like, it's the same in both. And then, like, there's, like, no, 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 this was, it's like Pokemon yet red and blue. It's like, this has some exclusive things, and this one has some exclusive things, and never the twain shall meet. And like Pokemon Go, there are some region exclusives. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it, it depends Pokemon on... Pokemon Japan. That's the Disney Japan. And that it, it depends on what, uh, you know, obviously the Disney World is going to be bigger, and it has different parks. Disneyland is just that one park. Exactly. You know, so, and it has yeah. a much smaller castle. Yeah, yeah. And it's like pink and blue or some shit like it's that. It's pink and blue, like you said before. Snow White. So Sleeping but, yeah. Beauty. So... Mandela Effect, guys, are we... It's, it's not really a question of whether we believe it's real or not, because it's not that it's not or is real. It, Hold on. Wait, 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 before you do that, I don't mean to interrupt, but can we do. just... Can I just shit on one thing first? Go, go have your, real have quick, your five real minutes, quick. Anthony. Can we just say that what the Mandela is not? I don't believe that, like, when people sit there and go, like, oh, the turn on the park reactor at CERN, the, the height, whatever, the reactor thing. Mm-hmm. That fucked up the timeline. Alternate universe, all right? It fucked up the timeline, and now we're seeing things from an alternate universe, or that we're merging dimensions, and that things from the past and the things from now are becoming one, and then we have a way of looking at it like, get fucked. There has never been a moment where someone's like, no, no, this is what it really is, and they were able to pull out, no, no, I have the proof. There is no proof. And that's what fucks me up, is everyone's so sure of like who people really believe in the Mandela effect are willing to die. Like, no, it was always Jiffy. I remember holding the peanut butter, looking at it in my hand. Like, no, you didn't. Yes, I fucking did. Like, all right, we'll find some proof of it. Well, I can't. Well, then it didn't fucking happen, asshole. <clears throat> like, I hate people who are like, no, we're actually seeing a different dimension, or we're living in a simulation, or the world actually ended in 2012, and we're living in a new port. Like, it's it's fuck off. There's logical reasons why the Mandela effect is an effect, but it's not a real thing. That's all I wanted to say. I think we got his answer. Well, obviously. Um, but yeah, so so again, I, I don't think it's it's more of a yes that you know it's real or not because obviously it has to go back into what we were talking about with definitions or the, the psychology behind everything, the parapsychology, if you will. Yeah, the uh, human nuba or whatever he said it was. Yeah, the, heuristics. The, that's the one. Yeah, the the okay. the heuristocrats or whatever the fuck. Sounds that was. like an Egyptian god. Like we will now play the heuristics. <laughs> so yeah, just to run down the everybody. god of definitions. Uh, Can you what? Mute him? No, not now. Not now. We're almost done. So we did the Mello, uh, Mandela effect with false memories today. The each episode, short season, longer episodes. That is our season this year. This season. Shut up. Shut the fuck We're up. We're going to give you You the- had one job. <laughs> and I'm doing that job to the best of my ability. That's all you can ask that's me That's right. For. We're going longer episodes. That's even more episode that you're not going to listen to. Yeah, so. so the ladies, that's more girth for you. Just, just to sit there and run <laughs> down length. what these episode is. We we're talking about hypnosis next week. That's not hypnosis. what they want. Ooh, that's not what they I, want, Tony. Mind control. And Wes, we're talking deeper about MK Ultra. MK Ultra. The uh, episode after that, we're talking about psychokinosis. Kinesis. Sorry about that. And <laughs> telepathy. <Wrinkles>. Psychokinosis. <laughs> Hyrokinesis. We're going to blow shit up with our brains. Oh, I wish I could. That's going to be a, uh, the episode after that, we're talking about pre- precognition, remote viewing, and clairvoyancy. Clairvoyance. There's no clairvoyancy. It's clairvoyance. Okay, let's wrap this bit up. Uh, <laughs> Someone's episode been five. Passed. I'll be honest. I'm excited for its near death experiences. DMT. Yeah. Yes. I I I I'm I'm excited to to talk about that. I've had many of those. Uh, number six. We're gonna go into a little religious with reincarnation and past lives. Reincarnation is it's it's mostly a religious thing. You sure. Know? Not really. Oh. Yeah. I'll Name one okay. scientific reasoning that reincarnation happens because it's always been religion based. Ooh, 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 cousin's going at it. Let's go. Let's do this. Ding, ding, ding. No, oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I was going to say there's tons of fucking cultures that actually talk about reincarnation that are not religious based. Yeah. Well, we'll save it for the episode. Is that Keep okay. going. Yes, okay. please. Uh, episode seven, we're going to go into media manipulation. 
which is something uh, you know that's a very real thing that's a very real thing and can fuck with people's minds and then we do have a special episode to end this season off and we might have another episode we, yeah we, we might remember talking what the about fuck it. we were discussing <laughs> uh but uh, to top it off our special episode is the satanic panic 2.0 2.0 calm down Carol say Hey yo! But uh, what are you looking for, Dad? I oh, just say that fist for the wall. Money. Nope, nope, <laughs> not our luck. Not our luck, Dad. Anywho, uh, but uh, any, anybody Let's go else? around the room, see and, if you believe in it. No, I, I think everybody believes it. No, final thoughts, Dad. I, I think it has some basis in reality. I also think that. Either our brains aren't conditioned to remember shit properly, or we're too busy in our daily lives to not give a fuck about unimportant things and remember them. Just like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, you even give a one-word answer. I'm just that's you know that's my. You look at that answer. Add me to that too. <laughs> Plus is like control V. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hop, skip over there. See though. Um, yeah, the Mandela effect is just, uh, memory and how it works. Then I know there's some people out there that believe the fact that alternate timelines, well, go read a book about psychology. <laughs> he said, read a book, read a book, read a book. <laughs> Be a man, read a book. <laughs> like, that, that's all it is, just read up on memory and how well, it works. Well, let's just put it this way. If you didn't, if, if you've listened to us before and you think that Sito doesn't talk a lot, he's going to be talking a lot this season. Thank God for that. Yes. It shuts me up. Thank, Thank God, God for, for that. that. Exactly. You know what? I'll shut you up. The fucking mute button. <laughs> All right. Uh, Roblox, your final thoughts on this? Um, I believe it is an effect, and it's more of just a word given to a phenomenon. At least for me, that's how I see it, because there's always what I like, what I like to say is the memory bias, and it just so happens that a lot of people will share that same memory bias. It's like, oh, I remember something happening this way. But as we stated before, there's little gaps that the brain creates when it comes to memory because not every single piece of data from that experience is going to be memorized. So sometimes it blanks out and you generalize or connect it in a way that, yeah, I remember that way. But your brain can't sit there and literally remember every single tiny detail from each situation. So for me, I think it kind of falls more under memory bias but i believe it's a phenomenon it just so happens that us as humans we all collectively experience it all right i'll be honest i'll control v that one <laughs> i mean yeah. control v that one i the, the pope I, it's it's yeah i'm on line whatever you, it's, i i recognize it no i recognize that it's an actual thing that we experience but when you break it down it's not something that's mystical or magical or you're, you're, we're, we're not we're not down for what people's theories of it are. Yeah, no, it's like it's we know psych, what it's all it psychological is. Psychological base. But when people yeah. turn around and try to base theories off of, well, it's very simple. We're now into uh, you know, Earth yeah. beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like no, we're no, not it's fucking not. tape recorders or or you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. our brains are not recording devices. Yeah, and even at that, and when you record, yeah, but like even when you record something. That is now, it's not a 3D recording, you know what I mean? Like, it is 2D. You're only wa you're watching a screen and all that information. You don't get to see what's on the other side of the, most of those things. So my point is, we don't remember things perfectly. Mm. It's psychological based. And if you think that we've entered an altered timeline, you're fucking stupid. Or as I like to say, get fucked. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Joey? Yeah, oh, okay. That's going to be the title of the season, Get Fucked. <laughs> Uh, You're not wrong. You're stupid. Men no, no, no. <laughs> That's the, it's the whole season. Get mentally fucked. Yep. That's going to be our t-shirt. Get mentally fucked. Valid. Season nine. Is, is this real? All caps. All caps. <sighs> I'm going to create that tonight. TM. Do it. Please TM. do it. Have one me. letter be a different font. Just to mess up with that. <laughs> Fuck you. That's fucked up. I fucking love him. All I right. told you he is my carbon copy. All right. So everyone say Good night. Night, everyone. Adios, motherfuckers. Good night, everybody. And we will catch you guys next week. Remember, guys, question everything. Good night.
Konnichiwa, bitches. It's Ryu West speaking. If you want to find out more about the Is This Real podcast, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash isthisrealpc or on Twitter at isthisrealpc or on Instagram at isthisrealpodcast, all one word. <laughs>